Okay, we will continue now with the power rule on a special case. For example, if we are given y equals the function of x to the power m, then dy dx we actually can take out the power m and then we differentiate. Uh, we copy again the function and then the power will be minus 1 then followed by differentiation of the function. Okay, let's look at how we apply this formula. Now when y is equal to 1 plus x to the power 4, of course we can use the chain rule uh, just now. But what we'll do is we will use the power rule in a special case. Yeah, let's look at how we solve this problem. When y is equal to 1 plus x to the power 4, the first step is the 4 we actually can take it out here. And then the bracket we copy again. Then the power v minus 1 becomes 3. Then followed by differentiation of the content inside the bracket. So since 1 is a constant, we cannot differentiate. Right? Because the answer is 0. And then when we differentiate x, 1x will give us 1. So from here when we simplify, 1 times 4 will give us 4. And then bracket 1 plus x to the power of 3. So this is the answer. So it is much simpler than using the chain rule just now. In example 18, same thing we can